Aaron Rodgers wasn't alone. I mean, he wasn't alone. The Jets as a whole did not play a great game. We've seen a lot of penalties on the defensive side. Sauce Gardner had some trouble locking up Justin Jefferson. And some of these flag calls were very, very petty. I, I thought they were very tedious. But above all, it was, it was kind of hurting the Jets as a whole because – these are happening on crucial third downs and crucial downs that could have ultimately helped the Jets get the ball back for more possessions. But, you know, despite the defensive side of it, there was still guys even on the offensive side of it that wasn't helping Aaron Rodgers out. So I talk about Rodgers having these interceptions and all of that, but the receivers dropped these open passes. Lazard, Conklin, Brees Hall, like they were they were not catching the ball. I don't know what it was up with, with the Jets receivers, but... They could not catch the ball. Lazard dropped a touchdown pass. That was six points. Touchdown pass. He dropped it. Let it go completely. So that hurts right there. And then you look at the O-line. You couldn't get a run game established the entire game. So, of course, now Aaron Rodgers has to throw the ball every possession. And, you know, the play call was just very questionable. It, it was wild of when they wanted to run the game and when they didn't run, and run the game or run the ball. I should say it, it was just wild to me. Because there was a drive, I watched them, I believe they were second and two or something, picked up a good amount of yardage, second and two, didn't convert on the run, third and two, tried to run it again, did not convert on the run. It was just embarrassing, bro. Like, you know, hey, hey for those in London who, who happened to watch this game, just know this is not, you know, the, the American football that people are so hype about. This is not the football that we watch and we're like, hey, this is, yeah, this is the football we love to see. Just know this is not it. This was not a good example of that <laughs> at all. It was an awful example of that. They're nine for 34 in third down conversions over the past two games. 0 and 2 for fourth down conversions. Like this is Jets. I don't know why we sent the Jets over there in London. Maybe because we thought Rodgers was going to have his team well established and the Jets as a whole was going to be well established by now. But this is not a good representation of American football. That was, that was an awful performance there as a whole from the New York Jets, and it was rough. But I think the Jets, man, they're cooked. They're cooked. It's over with. Dinner will be served soon because I seriously doubt we see the, the New York Jets, you know, go to the postseason and, and have a lot of success. I, I doubt they can turn it around. I would be very surprised if I did see that happen um, because next up they got the Bills. Bills have not looked good. We've seen Josh Allen just go nine for 30 or something like that which was awful. So he's going to try and have a bounce back game. Um, then after that, they see the Steelers, the Jets and the Steelers. Steelers, great defense. Offense is still a little shaky, but can make something happen. Patriots, you might catch a break there. But then Texans, Cardinals, yeah, oh yeah, the Jets is cooked. Jets is cooked. Other than that, hey, look, man, we got a side note in a quick second. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 